Peter wrote us to ask, I wonder if you've ever looked at different sizes of audio files when in various file formats. I know some formats are lossy, but a one hour stereo 16 bits file would be over 600 megabytes for a, is it called a WAV file? WAV? Yeah. Yep. But only 114 megabytes for WMA. 93.9 megabytes for FLAC? Yep. Yep. Eighty-three point three megabytes for. That's really impressive for FLAC to be that for small. Ma- yeah, I know, right? Yes, for ACC and fifty-four point nine. AAC. AAC. Sorry, oh, AC. Sorry. ACC. Okay. AAC and fifty-four point nine megabytes for MP3. So we're comparing different file formats for audio, and thinking about the size that the yeah. file becomes. Okay. The best audio format still seems to be MP3, even though it's not technically supported anymore. All of these formats are supported by my wife Mary's 8GB MP3 player, so I'm just curious what would be the best format to use to fit a ton of audiobooks on it. Any suggestions? Oh, okay. Yeah, MP3 is probably the most widely supported as far as devices go. And I, yeah. I use MP3 because I can yeah. just drag and drop it onto anything and it plays. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, if you start go, going into like AAC even, uh, WM, uh, WMA is it? Yeah. yeah. The Windows Media Audio. It's a proprietary codec for Windows Media. so It, uh, it won't work on all devices. It won't play on all devices. Some may have paid for the uh, mm. patents or whatever they are yeah. to, to be able to use them. Well, that's the thing. With MP3 and WAV, they're very open. And the thing is, when you compare mm-hmm. the two, MP3 is the compressed format. Yeah. Right. So you're going to be saving a lot more space when it comes to that, as you can, see, as you sure. saw in that analysis, right? Right. So we have to look at it this way. So WAV is lossless. So this is what lossless means. It, it is raw audio. It sounds like it sounds. And mm-hmm. there's no loss to the sound. That's why it's called lossless. Uh, lossy means MP3 takes that and removes the stuff that isn't necessarily needed, stuff that's outside of the uh, the audible spectrum. Uh, so things in the you know 24,000 hertz, it's going to remove those things because the human ear can't hear it anyway. So why bloat the file with it? Yeah. Um, so it it does that and then it compresses and you can lose quality. So what it comes down to then, Peter, is figuring out what your ears are capable of hearing. And we know that we're like 20 to 20,000 hertz. Mm -hmm. We know that um, the human voice is much, much different than that. We might be, uh, what do you think, about 70 to 14,000 hertz? Yeah, not even... So, well, so there, this knowing the spectrum, mm-hmm. we can save some space. Well, I, I, I would honestly just say stay with MP3 at this time sure. because file it, format. That's the container. Yeah, I know. That's the thing because when when you say it's unsupported or whatever, it's mm-hmm. it's still supported. It's just yeah, like yeah, yeah. was it the patent or something that finally came up? Or? It's uh, like the uh, the creators of it have said, you know what, it's we're not we're not gonna new. it's not gonna be. We're not going to continue supporting it. We're not going to continue developing it. Yeah. Um, it's like Windows, I don't know, Windows... AVI. Yeah, something like, like that. AVI containers, mm-hmm. I don't know. So MP3 is a container. Mm-hmm. It's the file format, but what happens within it, and it is the codec as well, um, so it's MPEG layer 3. So mm-hmm. a file container, so that's the .mp3 or .wmv or .wma, that's the container, and then the codec is what's inside of that to actually play. Mm -hmm. So when we understand the relation of those two things, so MP3 being a compressed format, we can compress it at all kinds of levels using a variety of different styles of MP3. Like, Mm -hmm. do we want to use CBR you may have heard of, constant bit rate. Uh, Variable bit rate is um, saying... Hey, I know that it's. I want it to sound about this good, mm-hmm. but then when the drums start kicking in, I yeah, want it, I want it to step <laughs> up a little bit because there's so much more stuff happening that mm-hmm. we need more data in that moment. Yeah. But then when it goes down to a hush, all of a sudden we can drop down. So variable bit rate says, oh, I can save some space here because they're whispering and mm-hmm. there's nothing going on. So variable bit rate will save you a lot of space while still maintaining overall okay. uh, audio quality. Could we do some demonstrating of how this kind of works? Yes couple other things to to remember if you have so generally speaking a good quality like cd quality sound file is going to be what 44.1 kilohertz Mm -hmm. and that's cd Uh, so that's the frequency response or the frequency of the file itself okay Mm -hmm. a lot of numbers to throw out there but there's a difference between frequency and bit rate 44.1 kilohertz is cd quality 48 is better than cd quality 16 is way worse Okay, mm-hmm. like telephone quality. So 
bit rate, on the other hand, is how many bits of data per second are we going to have happening? So you've seen like a 44.1 kilohertz file with 128 kilobits per second bit rate. Mm -hmm. So that's like close to CD. 192 would probably be closer to CD quality. And you can go as high as like 320 in the CBR spectrum. So, so then there's another thing that affects your file size. I'm throwing a lot of data out there. Is it stereo or mono, mono audio? Mm. So okay. if you put on a pair of headphones and you're listening to music, you hear all the stuff going on around. If you're listening to audio books like Mary is, uh, and they have music and it's all around and there's things happening over there. And if you close your, your eyes or, or whatever, you can hear things all around. Mm -hmm. uh, that's stereo sound. Uh, if it's recorded in binaural audio, so it's 3D, 360 audio, mm -hmm. that's stereo sound. So you have to use stereo sound if you want that effect. That would be the best way to listen to an audio book. Could you it imagine if cool. you were just like your eyes were closed and you were <coughs> just sitting on the couch oh, yeah. and, you, hear and you were like in up behind you? The, you like, ah. It's like you're in the book, like you're in the yeah. movie and you can hear them talking like... AS oh. ASMR all the way. Oh my oh. gosh. Shh, they're coming up behind you. Kind of whispering in your ear. That. Oh, oh, he's rubbing my earlobe. <laughs> the Ferengis go crazy. Um, uh, sorry. So <laughs> if it's a stereo file in that it has to be both sides and it's surrounding you, yeah. then that's going to use twice as much data for the same amount of quality. Mm -hmm. So we know then that if, if it's just someone talking, it's mm -hmm. an audio book, they're speaking into a microphone, they're reading to you, then it's probably doable in mono because it's the same... Thing on both sides and they're mm -hmm. just talking to you and so we can get away with mono so now that we can make it a mono file we can actually reduce the quality exactly in half in mono and it's going to be the same audio quality perceptively as the stereo file with tw uh, twice the quality mm -hmm. so that means twice the file size okay if it's a hundred megs in stereo we can cut everything in half and make it mono. It will sound the same to yeah. us, but it will only be 50 megs. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. That's what I mean by this. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump over to my laptop. My wife, Becca, is an author, and Category 5 uh, TV Network is, uh, we're actually launching a series of audiobooks. Ooh. So, Mary, you may enjoy these. Um, they are coming soon. We're working on our first non-seasonal audiobooks, and then we have one at Halloween, and we have one uh, book for Christmas as well. Spoopy. Mm-hmm. So I've got a couple here. And if I click on one, this is a stereophonic file. Category 5.tv. And it sounds like Windows this. along the left side of the room, suffusing the contours of ancient equipment kind of to look and myriad trash, along with tables so and conveyor belts whose surfaces music. had collected dirt, dead insects, and chunks of machine. But Becca's voice is yeah. dead center. Mm -hmm. So with an audiobook like this, it's produced, it's got music, it's got sound effects, things happen all around you. Yeah. In stereo, you're going to get a better effect, but if we want to really com cram enough files onto that yeah. mp3 player we can go with mono and we do do just fine mm -hmm. so peter let's look at how we can actually do that uh, i'm here on uh, debian 9 and this will be the same on any linux distribution so i'm going to go uh, on mine it's going to be su to become root on yours if it's if it's uh, ubuntu it might be sudo su uh, but now what i want to do is apt get update what ut, ut pete <laughs> update I'm going to install a quick little program here. Apt get install. Oh, is it looking? Uh, my machine is. Whoa. <laughs> Hello. My machine, my machine is looking on the CD. I wonder if it will work. Apt get install. Uh, lame is what. It's actually awesome. <laughs> don't let it. Don't let it. <laughs> nice. Lame. It's actually awesome. He said it. <laughs> <laughs> I need to just quickly add um, sources because my, my system was installed from. Flash, and I haven't ever... There we go. I'm going to remove the CD-ROM repository. Okay. Apt get update, or apt update. Okay. Apt install lame. No. Which repository? Sorry, you don't, you don't need to worry about this aspect, Peter. This is just me. That's stretch updates. I need a couple other... I may need to plug in my... Just to... Make it happen quick. 
Come on, where's lame located? Okay, I've got my flash drive here. I apologize. Should have tested <laughs> this. This is this is one of those things where it's like, okay, well, well we don't ever know what's going to happen. Well, if something happens now, they know how to handle it. Just yes. do it the Robbie way. <laughs> Have that flash drive and just plug in the flash drive. Okay, Has everything you need. Let's give me oh, am I not going to be able to get lame? That is so lame. He said it a second time. I know. Firefox. In the meantime, Debian, some Debian dancing. 9 sources.list. Let's see if I can get a proper sources list here because mine is missing a bunch of stuff um sudo apt purge nano the first thing i type on a new system <laughs> what no nano's a great editor come on now <laughs> okay peter i apologize and viewers at home I'm, I'm just grabbing some okay here here are some source lists i don't have a good source list because i i installed from uh uh, from the uh, optical media. So I'm just going to grab the demo from the Debian site with the non-free components. Don't there forget we the map. Go. This is London. Apt get update. Now we're getting it from the web. There we go. That's where it was supposed to start, folks. The interwebs. So Peter, if uh, so now I've done the apt get update. It's just going to grab my current uh, repositories. Fantastic. And then we're going to install the application called Lame. Lame. It's so lame. Apt get install Lame. There it goes. <laughs> First, there are so many things in this world that are lame. <laughs> lame is actually not one not. of them. It's actually. Awesome. What is it? It's an MP3 decoder encoder for Linux, whatever. You can install it and mind. do anything you want with these MP3 files. Okay, so I'm going to jump on my desktop and then into the audiobooks folder. I've got those two MP3 files there. And if I look at them, uh, the one I'm looking at is Garen, and it is 27 megabytes. So what I want you to do is, uh, first of all, you'll notice if you do lame dash dash help, there isn't a lot of information there. So instead, I want you to learn to go man lame. Man, that's lame. <laughs> man lame. Bro. <laughs> all right. So here's our manual. So first off, we've got options. OK, so this is what we're looking for. But these are the input options. Lame is going to recognize an MP3 file as an MP3 file, so I don't mm -hmm. need to worry about any of the input options. Okay. Just leave them be, and you're fine. So let's get down to our actual encoding. Here we go. Operational options. So this is where I would take a pen. May I borrow your pen? Yes, you may. Thank you. So I'm going to look at this, and I'm going to say, okay, mode. I know this is an audiobook, Peter, so I want to do mono. So for mode, we do dash M. And then for mono, we do scroll down just a little ways here. See that? Mono is M. So my actual command is going to be dash M space M for hmm. mono. So it's going to change the mode to mono. Now let's continue on in the man pages and see what else we need. Hmm. Dash A is for if you are using a PCM uh, source. Don't worry about it uh, because your source is MP3. Dash D allows the left and right channels to use different block size types. Not applicable. Free format decode. We don't need any of that. Keep going. Keep going. Replay gain. You probably don't need that, but that is just a, a way of telling your MP3 player if it's compatible with MP3 gain that you know, these are the maximum and minimum levels, and it will try to equalize them for you. But cool. the audio should be all right. Keep skipping, keep skipping. And what else do we need? Dash Q for quality. Okay, so dash Q. We want to set our quality to something that's going to be pretty good. Um, and uh, looking at this, dash Q0 is nuts. Dash Q0 says the quality of this encoder is so darn good that it's probably ridiculous. It doesn't affect the file size. All it does is it just takes more time. Hmm. So if you're working on a really, really big file doing 
dash Q zero is going to be nuts as far as the time goes versus dash Q four. Uh, four would be faster, but a little less quality, whether it's perceptible or not. Hmm. Uh, but I have a fast computer, so I always do the... Uh, I don't mind waiting for it, so I'll do dash Q zero. Next up, dash H simply adds some high-quality comp- uh, improvements to the lame encoder. Why would I not do that? Because you want something fast. If you want something fast, don't do all the high-quality stuff because it takes more time. If you don't mind waiting, hey, do dash H. You see that? Use hmm. some quality improvements. Encoding will be slower, but the result will be of higher quality. doesn't affect um, the file size. Okay, so do we want constant bit rate, which is dash, uh, the CBR, no, we want to go, we talked about it. We don't want ABR either. That's the average bit rate. We want VBR, the variable bit rate. I've already described what that does. So we're going to use the new uh, variable bit rate. So we're going to go dash dash VBR dash new. Do you see that on your screen? And then our VBR um, quality, that's right here, our variable bit rate and uh, dash V, and then the number is the actual quality of our VBR file. Hmm. Zero being the highest quality, nine being the worst quality. Figure that one out. Huh. Probably Day. compression yeah. ratio. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to, you know what? I'm going to leave uh, dash V as is. So the default is four. I'm happy with that. If I go any uh, lower than that, it will be a larger file. If I go higher, I'm going to lose quality. So our bit rate th- with a lowercase b, that is um, the, um, that is the, is it this? No, that's the bit rate. Mm. So this is the kind of the where we're averaging things. So dash B, I know that it's speech. We talked about how um, if we're doing mono, we can cut things in half. So we know that this is 192 or 128 Mm -hmm. uh, kilobits per second. Mm -hmm. If I cut that in half, it's going to sound exactly the same. Because it's mono. Because it's mono. Okay. Yeah, so we can go as low as 64 without affecting the sound quality. It's going to be half the file size. Um, So let's try that. Let's go dash B. That's a lowercase b. 64. I'm jotting this down so that we get the full commands. Uppercase B, that's, um, that's the maximum allowed bit rate. Why would you want to do that? Because you really want control over the file size. So I'm going to say, you know, I want the, mini- the, uh, the uh, minimum to be, I set it to 64. I'm going to explain in a second why we're going to actually go lower than that. Mm-hmm. But I want the maximum to be 96, say, for example, so that the file size is controlled. So... What variable bit rate encoding does is it looks at the file, Peter, and it says, okay, we're, we're, right now, if we had this bit rate, we're going to have good quality, uh, and it's going to fluctuate between the minimum and maximums that you have set. So, again, if we're whispering, if we're talking like this, there's no drums, okay. there's no keyboards, there's nothing, we could drop down to 8 kilobits per second, and it'll still sound fantastic because it's just my voice. Okay. Okay. Audiobooks, okay. very, very common. So the lowercase b, I'm going to say, no, we're not going to go with 64. I'm going to go down to 8. <laughs> 8. And our maximum, let's go up to, so that's a capital B, dash capital B. And I'm going to post all of this in the show notes below. So make sure you check out our website, category5.tv. Or if you're on YouTube, you'll see that in the notes. Capital B, we are going to go with a higher bit rate than that. We're going to go with 96. I'm going to say that is the absolute maximum that I want to hit as far as my variable bit rate goes. And that's it. That's all that I need. So I've got dash MM. We know what it means. Convert it to mono. Dash Q0, really good quality at the behest of speed. And then we've got dash H for high quality stuff. VBR new is the, so dash dash, VBR dash new is the, uh, the type of encoding we're going to use. Dash B, lowercase, is 8. That's the lowest bit rate. And the highest is 96, capital B dash 96. Let's do it. Okay, so my files. Take Garen, and we're going to go lame, and I'm going to start with my command. So dash MM, mono, dash Q, zero, good quality, dash H, high quality encoders, dash dash VBR dash new, that's our, our actual format. It's going to be variable bit rate using the new algorithms. Dash B with a lowercase b is 8. That's the lowest I want to go is 8 kilobits per second. And then the highest, dash capital B, is 96. Input file, Garen. And then output file, myoutput.mp3. Enter. Boom. There it goes. 
Now, this is taking an entire audio uh, book, which is uh, a short story, so it's not overly long. Um, but let's see how long this takes us. There it goes. What do you think we're going to... Notice it's mono. Ooh, there we go. All done. LS-LAH. My output is 14 megs. Garen, the original audio book, was 27 megs. Let's give a quick audio sample just to see. And this is how you're going to do this, Peter, is you're going to try all different kind of bit rates, try all different kinds of settings, mm -hmm. and find out which one is going to work for the audiobooks, and then convert them all to this format to save a lot of space. You can see that already we're saving a ton of space. If I do a media info on Garen by Becca Ferguson, the original... Oh, I don't have media info installed. That's a helpful tool when you're doing this. Install media info. And then run that command again. This tells us all about the codecs and bit rates and file size and all that kind of stuff. So it shows us this original file uh, was constant bit rate 192 kilobits per second and um, lossy. Does it say if it was stereo? Or, yeah, joint stereo. There you go. So now if I look at my new one, media info, my output, you'll see this one now is variable bit rate. Overall bit rate is 84.2 kilobits per second. And we should see that uh, let's see, format version, layer 3, lossy. Do we see that it is in mono at all? I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. Someone probably spots it. Mm. I don't see it. Do you guys see it? Oh, no. can't. <laughs> they've done it differently. Channels, one channel. That's the same as saying mono. Okay, so let's give it an audio listen. Here's the original. So this is full quality, okay. uh, quite a bit larger. Category 5.tv presents a short story by Becca Ferguson. Okay, so that's the original. Now let's jump on to my, my new version. Category 5.tv presents a short story by Becca Ferguson. Okay, so mm -hmm. you hear how entirely acceptable, and yet, original file, 27 megs, new file, 14 just Very like cool. That. Just like magic. We've kept the sound quality pretty close to the same. Now we're using ver variable bit rate, so it's finding that kind of fluctuating between different bit rates in order to get good sound. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But generally speaking, we're getting similar quality, but in mono and cutting the file size in half. You can really play around with that. Take that command, Peter, and anyone else watching this and thinking, hey, this is kind of neat, and say, okay, now let's say... My lowest is 8, and my highest is 32, and try that. Because you can keep experimenting and say, what, what kind of difference is that going to make? So now the highest bit rate it can touch mm -hmm. is 32. Right. That's nutty Sneaky. low. <laughs> but we're mono now, so that's actually the equivalent of 64 kilobits per second, mm -hmm. which is half of 128, which is CD quality. Right. So it Sneaky. should be quite bearable. Let's look at the file size <coughs> difference. Bless you. This file now is only 7.4 megabytes. Original file. Category 5.tv presents a short story by Becca Ferguson. Okay. New file. This is the super, tu super duper tiny one, 7.7 .7 megs. Category 5.tv presents a short story by Becca Ferguson. You hear what happened there? Yeah. We start to hear a little bit of tinniness. So you yeah. experiment with those, take it up to 64 instead of 96, and play around and get the sound that you're looking for. But you can see how you can fluctuate the sound, improve the quality as you make changes to those numbers. Cool. So thanks for the question. That's I hope that that's helped you out. Uh, nice thing about Lame is because it is a Bash uh, terminal application, you can code it into scripts, you can add it to servers, you can do all kinds of stuff. We use it here at the show for our MP3 RSS feeds. So when you download an MP3 for our podcasts on any of our shows, it's all created using Lame uh, through a script that runs on a cron job. Right. Done that's and cool. done. <laughs> there you have it. <laughs>